something to think about, the buses are never on time in here, ever. So don't think that the bus is going to be on time. Second or third time I've been waiting like 30 minutes plus, and there it says it's gonna be in five minutes, but no, no, it's not. for me but actually this is day one my first full day um, I woke up really really early I slept about five hours and I woke up at five in the morning and I was walking everywhere um, I didn't vlog that much because I was kind of exhausted I'm still really tired and jet lag but I am going to just put some clips where I went um, I walked everywhere I met up with a friend in the morning and we had a lovely breakfast because our hostel serves breakfast we had some coffee and then we went on the road we went to the Colosseum which I'm going to include all the clips and it was beautiful we went inside um, we paid 12 euros but fun fact, if you are under 25 and you live in Europe, it, it will cost you only 2 euro to get in. So, um, go to the cashier, do not buy anything from the people that are trying to sell you stuff because it's about 30 euros if you want to buy it from them. So just go to the cashier. We got there at 9 and they opened at 9. There was a little bit of a wait, but not that much. Um, and then they give you a ticket and then on the ticket there is a time and then you have to come back to the line at that time. Everything was smooth and nice. Another fun fact, this is super cool. So if you buy water and you have a plastic bottle or if you bring your own um, um, like the hydro flask and stuff which I did not bring it with me from the States um, but I will buy one water in a plastic bottle and then you can refill it everywhere so they can go yeah it's water <laughs> so they have like little stations and um, like faucets and you pretty much go with your bottle all the water is drinkable which is amazing um, even here in our hostel we drink tap water which in the United States I never do this um, but here we drink tap water so it's good it tastes just fine so I am actually walking to Termini station I'm going to take a bus and meet up with my friend and we're going to have our first pizza Italian pizza first pizza ever in Rome or in Italy first Italian pizza so that's really really exciting Next up, pizza. It was that way. This way. Oh no, it's wrong. Okay, this way. Tell me about your experience with our first pizza <laughs> in Italy. <laughs> Two strangers. We sat with the people next to us, and we had our first pizza, and we got yelled that we're taking pictures and filming. Then they wanted to go for a drink with us, right? But yeah. we bounced. Like we yeah. just left. Yeah. We were much too. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so we're going to the Trevi Fountain because um, 
the see the water to see the water this morning we went to the Trevi fountain and there was no water in the fountain because they were cleaning so we are going back to to see the fountain with the water and the money in it <laughs> and this is the view I'm not sure if there was good or bad yeah, we decided it was a very interesting experience <laughs> that we had. It was like a community table, so we sat with two other people. No, four other people. One couple from Canada, and they were nice. And then some guys <laughs> from Italy. <laughs> it's pretty and hot. That's what I was going to say about like meeting people. My favorite, favorite part is food. And I almost feel like the whole experience of like seeing things doesn't really excite me as much as like talking to strangers and listening to their stories. That's like literally, I thrive on that. I absolutely love it to have all these conversations with these people from different countries. Everyone speaks different language and all the girls that are here, I am at the female hostel. They all solo travel, so like every single one of them. And you just get tips from them, where to go, where they went. It's just amazing. That's I literally thrive thrive on thrive on that. Like that's that's number one reason why I travel solo and number one reason why I like why I get this adrenaline rush from traveling. It's the people. So if you have the opportunity or if you are always been scared to travel solo, you're a woman or whatever it might be, I'm telling you, you gotta go. Go. Do yourself a favor and go. There's nothing to be scared about. Just be aware. Be aware of your surroundings. But there's always plenty of people to meet and chat. And oh, it's 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 an experience like no other. And you have to do it if you have never done it in your life. Okay? You better listen to me. Okay? <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Ciao. From Roma. <laughs> if you don't know if you didn't know so at the Trevi fountain they clean it every single day they like clean the coins that people throw in there so there was no water when we went there it was the cleaning time I don't know what time I don't even know what time it was but there was no water I was like I didn't throw any coins even though and this is funny so like these guys are cleaning the coins there's no water and this lady is like throwing the coins while he's cleaning, almost hitting him in the head. I'm like, whatever. Anyways, um, I think that will be it for today. I'm going to check back in tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, well, I'm not going to tell you where I'm going and what I'm doing. You're just going to have to wait for another vlog from tomorrow. Um, and I, every day I'm going to feel better and better and be more... Um, awake and energized and look a little bit better but um, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy my vlogs and if you do don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe also I guess you have to press the notification button to be notified um, yep that's about it I will see you later bye for now from Rome ciao